Charlotte Delay, I don't know how much you've seen uh, of film as far as Charlotte defensively, but uh, you know, coming off their first win, uh, what sort of things do they do impress you? Yeah, I think, um, you know, Charlotte, they have a really good team. They have a good uh, head coach. And um, their DC has a lot of experience, been in a lot of big games. Um, but talent-wise, they have a really good um, D-line. They have a, a good secondary who can, you know, run with a lot of receivers and stuff like that. Um, they play hard to the ball, and it's, they present a, a good challenge for us this, this weekend. Thanks, Larry. Um, how did it feel starting off the season um, strong like that in, in front of your home crowd, no less? Uh, yes, sir. That's, that's a, uh, you know, all our hard work coming in off season. You know, we always wanted to start off fast. That was our main goal. Um, at the end of the day, start off one and zero in the season, and um, I, you know, give our crowd, you know, our fans out here something to something to look forward to and keep the excitement going and stuff like that. So it's definitely excited. So yeah, um, Coach Lachey said you guys worked a lot over the offseason on your deep ball, making sure your footwork was proper, uh, you know, your eyes were where they needed to be, things like that. Um, just what were those workouts like over the offseason for you, and how do you think that you know, kind of played out on Saturday? Yeah, well, those, you know, every day at practice, um, really starting from spring, just getting the timing down with every receiver, um, always working on deep balls, and it's kind of a two-way street thing. You know, the receivers got to run hard, and, get that game like, um, you know, look. Um, yeah, I just started from training camp um, all the way up and, you know, still to this day, we're continuing to work on it every day at practice. And uh, we know football now is all about explosive plays. And, you know, for our offense, we need more explosive plays and more deep shots. So definitely going to continue to work on that. For a quarterback when you're throwing deep, how important are those things, the footwork and eyesight, the trajectory of the ball, things like that? How is that important? How important are those things? Uh, it's very important. Um, at the end of the day, it's all fundamentals. You know, when it comes to throwing the ball, um, you got to make sure you're not stepping too wide off of your platform. And that's one of the problems I had. I would overstride on my front, my front foot, and the ball would die out sometimes. So stuff like that, just continue to work on it, make sure I'm um, staying tight with my release point and not looking at the ball, looking at the receiver and stuff like that. So. Hey, Talia. Uh, obviously, I know a lot of new new pieces, a lot of familiar pieces as well, but uh, just kind of having uh, week one done, uh, watching the film and whatnot, uh, what's maybe one thing that when you watch a film that you were maybe impressed with or you felt confident with and uh, maybe an area for growth going into week two? Yes, sir. I think um, some of the things that I was impressed with was, uh, you know, we had a lot of new guys on the O-line, we had a lot of new guys on um, outside of receiver and just the tempo we was playing with. I think that was really good to see, you know, us executing our, uh, our base plays and stuff like that. Um, but I think the most important thing I got to work on is ball security. A lot of times I broke the pocket with one hand on the ball. And um, that's something, you know, we've been continuing to work on since I got here. And um, it's kind of like an old habit that um, I have. So I just got to continue to have two hands on the ball every time I move around in the pocket and uh, protect the football. So. Uh, Talia, uh, you've had a uh, preponderance to find your tight ends in your career here in Maryland, and you've had some good ones. How does Corey Deitches fit into that uh, role? You hit him for six times for over 100 yards. Pretty impressive. Yes, sir. You know, Deitch is a very hard worker. You know, obviously that's my that's my boy, and um, yeah, he just continues to find the right open spots, and um, he he can do it all. You know, he can run the ball, he can catch, he can block. And, um, you know, whatever we need, we need of him, you know, he, he's always there to do it. And um, I'm happy that, you know, he had a really good game in his new jersey, so. Hey, Talia, um, there were a couple of points during the game where you looked a little, you know, banged up, shaken up at points. How are you feeling? I feel great. I feel great. And then uh, Coach was kind of talking about how there are times where you can limit the number of hits you take by, you know, throwing it away a little bit earlier, maybe um, not extending the play as much as you do. How do you balance wanting to make plays but also trying to protect yourself so that you're able to get through an entire season? Yes, sir. I think that's, um, you know, it's kind of hard for me. Um, just, you know, being very competitive, you know, every play to us matters so much. And, you know, when the play breaks down, you know, you, you obviously want to be the problem solver to the play. And, um, but like Coach said, you know, it's not worth it taking those hits on the sideline and taking hits late in the pocket and stuff like that. So. Uh, yeah, it's kind of a thing I got to manage and 
learn when to, you know, let the play go and learn how to uh, live for another play. So. so yeah, having a new center this year that, that wasn't around uh, last year, how have you felt yourself coming antiquated with, with Mike Purcell and how do you think he's kind of grasping the offense and the snap counts and so Yes, sir, I feel very comfortable with whether Mike's in there, whether Eric's in there or uh, Corey's in there. And, um, but with Mike, um, you know, I feel very confident when, with him in there. I think he's done a really good job of adapting to our system. And, you know, the center position is always a hard position coming in, especially if you're new. Um, there's a lot of different calls and just the language we speak is very different. And I think he's done a, a really good job of adapting to it.